and well, very entertaining game. The very, very entertaining game that the first half went as how I thought pretty much most of the game would have gone. But I think the second half, especially when Liverpool took the lead, even before Liverpool took the lead, it then sort of changed things. Um, so this is really a case of where this was the fair result based on how both teams were playing. I think this was the, the fair result because if Liverpool had gone away winning the game, I think for, for Chelsea, it would have been un- unlucky for them. Nothing wrong with how Liverpool played. There's nothing wrong with how they played. And you look how how that goal went in, it happens. It happens because the, the worst thing Liverpool can do is point to Minile and say, oh my gosh, that's Keanu Minile. It's one of those weird ones, man. Trust me, it's one of those weird ones where literally it's like you think it's a cross, then it's going towards your your, your goal. You slightly mis- misjudge the height of the ball. It happens. It happens. So you, you, you can't just blame Minile mini, mini for that. Um, but I think, so. For, I mean, for Liverpool, look, man, Salah is, he's one of the most informed players in the world right now. I'm just, I don't know what happened to this guy. I don't know what Klopp said to him, what he was giving, what drugs he's sniffing. Because this isn't the same Salah I was seeing at Fiorentina or Roma. He was pretty high, but then I thought he was pretty one when, when dimensional. How effective he is, his movement, his control, how smart he is on the ball, how well he works in tight spaces. He's left-footed, but he doesn't really show that he's very he's one-footed. He knows how to navigate and meander his way through traffic with his left foot, not really using his, his right foot. The positions that he, he gets himself in, but most, most of all, he's finishing. His finishing is just on point. As in this guy, literally, you, you, you almost you put him in a one-on-one, he's going to put that ball in. Even if you give him difficult situations, he still puts that ball in. So for Salah, so crazy. So much was made out of... Um, continue and so forth but really it was it's i mean sal is really that guy sal is really the, the the dude who's really hustling and coming through for for liverpool but for, for chelsea you know what i figured out about chelsea you see when conte made those substitutions bring it on william bring it on pedro you really saw hazard come through because hazard actually had an amazing game on on the tip but on on the down low, my man of the match may actually go to Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta is a top three, top five you know, defender. He's minimum a top five defender. Aspilicueta's defending is off the, the chain. It just doesn't get said more enough. He is so solid. Without him in there, Chelsea would be 18th. But as I look at Hazard and Hazard, you just look at his... This is Hazard at his best. And this is why I... This is the Hazard that I want to see. You know, what he was doing, especially in the first half, his touches, how he was moving with the ball, his dribbling, how he was getting away so easily from, from, from players in difficult situations. I was, like, I was like, okay, now this is the guy that people talk about. But oh, I figured out that it's the lineup. The lineup that Charles, that Conte normally goes with, it's a much more pragmatic lineup, doesn't really suit him. Having a Bakayoko and a Kante in that double pivot doesn't really bring the best out of a hazard. I think what hazard. How he flourishes is if he has really good players around him because then he those are guys that are on his same footballing wavelength. So that is why when you brought on a William, you brought on Pedro, who are on the same footballing wavelength as Hazard, you see him, you see Hazard become better, you see Chelsea become better. So in my view, Conte would do it. I think he has to change the lineup and the approach to be a lot more adventurous, a lot more exciting. And because once you do that, because Chelsea are good enough to be able to play that kind of an attacking lineup, have Kante holding in the midfield. And then can ride and just open guys a new one. But yeah, it's a fair, it's a fair result. It is what it is. Both of these teams are not going to be stiff in the, the, the Premier League title. This really is just for a battle for top four, because as we all well know, the Premier League title has already been decided.